Bob the Cat, star of the best-selling book and film, a street cat named Bob, died after being hit by a car, his heartbroken owner revealed. His ex-heroin addict owner, James Bowen, who wrote a best-selling series about his cat who changed his life, has opened up about learning the devastating news. The last time James Bowen saw his beloved cat was at 11 p.m. last Saturday night in the kitchen of his Surrey home when he gave him dinner as usual. The ginger Tom usually slept on a blue fleecy blanket on top of his owner's duvet, but half an hour later when it was time for bed, James couldn't find him. I went outside and called him, but he didn't come, said James. I didn't go to bed that night. I was back and forth between the house and the street, looking for him and calling for him with my fiancé, Monica. Less than an hour later, the vet called. Bob was killed by a blow to the head of, from a car on Monday night in a hit and run. The trauma caused a hematoma that killed him instantly. He was handed into the vet by a member of the public who found him. The driver has not yet come forward. Bowen, a recovering addict, first met Bob in 2007. When he found him abandoned and injured, he spent his last £30 on taking Bob to the vet. But afterwards, Bob wouldn't leave his side, even hopping on the bus to Angel with him. He went on to take care of the cat and they quickly became inseparable busking and selling the big issue on the streets of London. James credits Bob's with his own survival, he said. I'm not sure I'd even be here today if it hadn't been for him. Bob gave direction and purpose to my life that I did not have before. From that moment on, everything changed and all the positive things that happened after that can be traced back to him. His influence on my life has been extraordinary. He made me believe in myself. Bowen's first book, A Street Cat Named Bob, which told his and Bob's story, was published in 2013. It became a bestseller and the original story was also made into a film released in 2016. Ever the Cool Cat, Bob played himself in the film and its sequel too. Unable to know the exact sequence of events around Bob's death, James, the devastated 41-year-old, has been left imagining the worst. He has been devastated ever since, James said. He made me believe in myself. I found myself looking around and expecting to see him, and when I realize that he's gone, it feels as though I can't breathe. It's a nightmare. He was my best friend. But the next morning, the cat, who for 13 years was always within calling distance, was still nowhere to be seen, a terribly sad but not uncommon occurrence in suburbia where free-spirited cats often vanish without a trace. But Bob was no ordinary cat, never has a cat been so loved, not just by James, but by millions of people worldwide who know him as a street cat named Bob, star of a best-selling book and film of the same name. First and foremost, however, the former stray was James's best friend, whom he credits with rescuing him from a rough life on the streets of London and catapulting him from the depths of drug addiction to international fame and a clean, good life. Lockdown had meant that the inseparable duo had seen more of each other than ever before. Having finished filming the sequel to the award-winning film adaptation of James's book earlier this year, Bob was enjoying a life at home, lying in the sun inside the purpose-built outdoor catio or in his customary position on James's shoulders. Did the drivers stop? Did they even know they'd hit him? How long was Bob lying there before the passerby saw him? I just can't believe it. I thought we would have more time together. He was getting older, but I've no doubt he still had a few years left in him. 
James said he has struggled to sleep since Bob first went missing. When Bob passed away, James was in the middle of recording four songs with his band, James Bowen with a Wild and Stray. He has also written a proposal for a documentary series in which he would sleep rough in cities around the world to see how different societies dealt with homelessness. His main concern now is to carry on fundraisers for homeless and cat charities, or as he puts it, to be a voice for the voiceless. When the shock of his precious pet's death subsides, he is planning to set up a trust fund to help raise money for the homeless in Bob's name. Above all, he is determined that Bob's legacy will live on, his ashes will be placed in a wooden urn shaped like a cat, and will remain with James at home in one of the places where Bob liked to lie in the sun, in James's bedroom. He also intends to hold a memorial service and Bob's fans have already launched a petition for a statue, possibly in Covent Garden where James and Bob first found fame.